A sin of good people turn their heads each day. So satisfied, I'm on my way. Hi guys, this is Christian from the Zeitgeist Movement Germany and I'm here with Roxanne Meadows. They're here for their world lecture tour in Germany and uh, we now have the chance to ask them a couple of questions about the Venus Project, transition and all that kind of stuff. Hi Roxanne. Hi Christian. <laughs> okay, well, first of all I'd like to uh, talk about some of these uh, ever-occurring arguments against the Venus Project that come from certain critics yeah. like uh, we always have that zinger communism, we have words like utopia and uh, machine takeover. Um, where do you think do these do these opinions come from from the people? Because we always hear them spewed out the same way. We don't really hear any logical arguments, but we just hear those slogans, basically. What is it in the people that that makes them say these things? Well, in the educational system today, I don't think people are taught how to be critical thinkers. I don't even think they know what communism is when they talk about it. They surely don't know what the Venus Project is. Otherwise, they wouldn't equate the two. So. It's very hard. This system fortifies people with quick answers to support whatever system exists. All countries train their people with their values and their behavior to support existing systems. Otherwise, you couldn't get people to go fight for their wars or put up with what's happening in society. They know very little about it. So they really have to look into the Venus Project to understand the difference. Certainly, I, I couldn't agree more and uh, I think that nowadays you really have the kind of thing that people don't like to, uh, to be noticed by others. If they say something that doesn't really apply to what other people would want them to, to think and feel and act, like if they don't disagree with everything that the masses disagree with, then they would also fall out of the picture, that they kind of keep themselves under control. You know, we, we don't need these, uh, the police to tell us what to think, we do that, we do quite a good job ourselves, don't we? 